Health Matters is sponsored by Bon Secours. March is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in men and women combined in the U.S. But what makes this cancer so different is that it is largely preventable. Joining me now is colorectal surgeon Dr. Carrie Gentry to talk about colon cancer and the screenings available. So first, Dr. Gentry, talk about the average age of a colon cancer patient. So Amy, the average age of diagnosis for colon cancer in the mid to late 60s. For rectal cancer, it's even sooner in the early 60s. And we think that most colon cancers start as polyps, which are benign tissue. And when should someone come in to get a colonoscopy? So the average age of, of, of screening should begin at 50. Um, we think that that's important because most polyps form in the 50s. Now, there are some that are higher risk and they may need to start sooner. Talk about those high risk patients. So those are patients who have family members with colon cancer, uh, even the, under the age of 50. And so we recommend starting screening at 10 years younger than the age of the diagnosis of that family member. And who is most at risk for colon cancer? So we look at patients who've had polyps or family history is the most important. Uh, and things you can do to prevent uh, cancer are a good diet, getting screened, and we have better preps now to make that happen. Thank you so much, Dr. Gentry. Of course, if you want more information on colon cancer, all you have to do is go to bonsecourt.com slash Richmond. And you can also check out more segments of Health Matters at WRIC.com.